Uh, howdy y'all. Out here with the Black Hunter. I got off um, Amazon. It's a Black Hunter longbow. It says 55 pounds at 28 inches. It actually pulls around almost 50, like 58 pounds at 28 inches. I got around a 30 inch draw, so I'm shooting a little over 60 pounds with it. Um, I am learning to use the glove on this bow. Uh, I don't need it, but for long-term shooting, like competitively shooting, I don't know how to put that, but if you're going hunting, you need how to shoot it a few times. I, I do a bare bow, a bare finger, which I come out here and I normally shoot bare hand too, but after a while it does get to your fingertips and the gloves do help with that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling on. Um, yeah, the long, long bow, not the recurve, this is the, the long bow. And what I wanted to talk about was these, uh, I think you pronounce it Pandarus, mixed carbons. These are the these are the 500s, these ones are, which shoot good out of this bow at the poundage that I'm shooting, as long as you switch out the inserts. I took a, uh, they come with, I think it's like a 50 grain, 50 grain insert. I put a, uh, a bronze or copper, whatever you want to call it, 100 grain insert with a 100 grain fill point that I also got off Amazon. And those ones are, uh, I forget the name of them, but they're, they're pretty nasty. They, they penetrate pretty freaking nasty. Another thing I want to talk to you guys about is if my phone don't cut me off again, these broadheads. Because I, I order a lot of things off Amazon because, for one, I'm poor. You know, I live off less than $20,000 a year. I don't, I don't make a whole lot of money. You know, and that's if my landscaping is going pretty decent. But, yeah, I got 12 of these. These are the E5, E10 two-blade flat broadheads. Now, as long as you don't get pass-throughs, these are pretty decent. They stay sharp. They leave a nasty wound channel good broadheads uh, my neighbor got a hold of me the other day he had a coon stuck in his basement wall that he wanted me to come get and it couldn't be trapped couldn't get it out of the wall so I had to shoot it <coughs> I shot probably a seven yard shot in his basement with the bow and got a pass through on the coon and into the, the drywall J just the drywall no stud Nothing like that, just I'm talking sheetrock. And it bent the broadhead up to where it would not fly straight. Like it completely ruined the broadhead, just, just sheetrock ruined the broadhead. Um, so in my opinion, that's, for $17.99 for 12 of them ain't bad, but if you're looking to keep reusing them, because even on big game, I, I get pass-throughs on whitetail. Like, it, I've never hit a tree or anything, but if you was to hit a tree with one of those, that broadhead's done. Like, I, I've never had a pass through to where I hit something that ruined a broadhead. I'm big on the Zwicky Eskimos. That's what I normally shoot. I got them on Mamba. And those things are practically, they're, they're the Superman of broadheads. They're <laughs> pretty much indestructible. But, yeah, I just wanted to get on today. I'm kind of bored out here shooting and figure I have a little bit of, advice for you guys a little bit of knowledge on the stuff that i use um but as as for the setup i've been using i forget when i posted my video when i first got this saying this was going to be my hunting rig and i didn't get to go hunting because i had actually end up with a emergency surgery my gallbladder was about ready to explode and they had to cut me open and everything i, I missed the whole hunting season but I took uh, I took turkey with this setup. I took king with this setup. Shot a couple squirrel. Um, it, it's a good setup, and they it, they fly straight. If you want to shoot the with, like I said, 500 spine. I, I do the 100 grain insert and 100 grain field point. My 400 spines, I do a 100 grain insert and a 150 grain field point. 
or a 150 grain uh, broadhead, whatever you're using, a dead on. They fly straight, dead on. Um, but yeah, for the whole setup, I mean, you get good, decent broadheads, the bow, arrows. Uh, you're looking at under 300 bucks. And a lot of the, the other bows that you look at, I think the the Black Hunter itself, I think it's like $109. You can get off Amazon, which I'm gonna order another set of limbs or two too, because I'm gonna get a set of 60 pound limbs as well. And I might get a <clears throat> lower poundage, like a 40 pound set for uh, maybe bow fishing or something, eventually when I get money built up. But yeah, the whole setup, you can get for under 300 bucks. Hey, you can't really beat that. That's in my opinion, that's just, you know, me being the poor boy, giving people advice, but yeah. I mean, if you're out there to look to get shooting, get into it, it's not a bad investment. I, I'm, I'm really impressed with this, this longbow. I, I can't say enough good things about this Black Hunter. It is a good bow.